If you are an SEO pro or just getting started with SEO, you may already be familiar about the importance of keyword research. Keyword research is an important part of any successful SEO strategy. There are hundreds of free and paid SEO tools available in the market to help you discover just the right set of keywords for your business. In this particular video, I'll be doing a walkthrough of one of the most popular and affordable SEO tools. You guessed it, Ubersuggest. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Mishra and I'm the CEO of EOSIS Private Limited. My company is into SEO as well as custom app development. In this particular video, I'll be restricting myself with just the keyword research feature of Ubersuggest. I'll be doing a comprehensive video covering all the features and benefits of Ubersuggest in a separate video and I'll drop a link to that video in this description below. So with that said, let's get started. Uh, a quick download about Ubersuggest. Ubersuggest is a paid SEO tool. It is run by uh, Neil Patel, who is one of the superstars in the SEO space. He acquired the company Ubersuggest in 2017. Since last four or five years, company has released a number of interesting features and update and has become a key competitor to established players such as Ahrefs, SEMrush and so on. With that said, let's move to the laptop screen where I can show you how you can do keyword research using Ubersuggest. To access the Ubersuggest account, you need to open your web browser and type Neil Patel forward slash Ubersuggest. On doing that, you will land on the home page of Ubersuggest. So this particular web page lists down all the features offered by the Ubersuggest tool. On the top right corner, there is an option of sign in. You can click on that. There is option of register and uh, sign in. And there is an even easier way to access your Ubersuggest account that is login with Google. This is something which I personally use to access my account. Now, when you log into your Ubersuggest account, this is the screen what you will see. I'll just quickly explain different sections of the screen. On the left top corner, there are links to uh, key sections of the tool like dashboard rank tracking site audit and key modules like keywords traffic backlinks. Uh, then on the bottom left, there is an option to your profile knowledge base and support section. Uh, in this particular video, we'll be talking about the keywords part. So I'm clicking on keyword overview and this is the screen that you see. Now, the good thing about Ubersuggest is anything that you search over here, it pulls in the data from subsections and gives you the information in a snapshot. You'll see that in a moment. Uh, now, uh, let's actually check out what input options are available. So there is an input text field where you can type in your targeted keyword, the starting point of your research, keyword research. So uh, we'll type it uh, here. Then there is language location option. So you can select uh, the language as well as corresponding region. So I've entered English India. I can even select uh, if I were to target different geography like United States, I can simply select that or Japanese Japan if Japanese was my targeted language for Japan. Uh, also, if I was running a local business, let's say I was running a real estate website uh, focused in the Mumbai metropolitan region. So I can even uh, identify keywords uh, for the specific geography. I can simply select here uh, Mumbai and there is an option of English Mumbai Maharashtra. So I would have selected that. So let's uh, come back to our selection that is English India. Now to explain the output of the Uber Suggest tool, I have to consider an example. I'm considering that I run a e-commerce website for uh, uh, and I sell shirts, t-shirts online and I've come to Uber Suggest to discover keywords. So my starting uh, keyword would be let's say buy shirts online. Let's see what are the results uh, shown by Uber Suggest. So you have the keyword mentioned over here. There is an option of add to list. This is a new feature added by Ubersuggest team. It gives you an option to put the keyword in a separate list. So let's say when you are researching and you got uh, 10, 20 keywords that you personally loved and you would like to target those keywords. So you can simply click on add to keyword list and they would, add, they would be added in a separate list. You can export this list or review it in isolation on the Ubersuggest tool itself. Also, there is a handy option to put this keyword for rank tracking if you have already defined a project inside Ubersuggest. So you can simply in one click, it will start tracking the rank. Okay, uh, then there are four metrics given below it like search volume. Search volume means uh, the number of times the keyword is searched. So uh, in a specific geography, in this case, English, India. 
uh, search difficulty, it means that how difficult it would be to rank for this specific keyword. Uh, for context, uh, the search difficulty is a number between 1 and 100. 1 means that the search term, the keyword is extremely easy uh, to rank for and 100 means that it is extremely difficult to rank for. A difficulty, it means that how difficult it will be to rank within the uh, ad result displayed on the Google search engine result page. So the higher the number means more difficult and competitive it's going to be. And cost per click gives you an overview of how much money you'll have to pay to Google to, uh, to feature in their ad uh, section inside the Google search engine result page. Okay, there is, uh, okay. by the way, this is Neil Patel over here and they, uh, Neil is giving an insight also in the tool that uh, the average web page that ranks in the top 10 for this particular keyword has 389 backlinks and a domain authority of 56. So good, interesting insight over there. Then you have the information search volume, which shows you the trend for the sp uh, specific keyword, both on mobile and desktop. So you are able to access that information. Then Uber Suggest is telling you how many people click on SEO results, on the paid result, and then how many are the no clicks events. So good information. Then it also gives you a broad overview of searches age range. So it can be handy for you for different geographies or different type of industries. Okay. Then the section that you see over here, keyword ideas, this is basically the information that it is fetching from the keyword idea subsection. So an overview of it, it gives you related keywords and bunch of other options as well. We'll explore it in detail in some time. Then content ideas, this information it is uh, fetching from the content idea subsection of the keywords uh, module. And it tells you important uh, content pieces around which you can build content on your website. Okay. so. With this said, let's move to the next section that is keyword idea. So I can very well click here or I can click here and the information would be same. So I click this part. Okay. So the keyword is automatically populated here. Region is also selected. Then there are uh, five types uh, available over here. There is suggestions. These are the keywords that Uber suggest, uh, uh, suggest us based on the keyword that we have entered. Now, um, in the tabular format, it has also shown the search volume, uh, the cost per click, the paid difficulty and SEO difficulty for those recommended keywords. Uh, also, there is another option of related available. Okay, it's the, uh, the keywords which are related to the core keyword like buy shirts online for women and uh, online cheap and so on. Uh, so for uh, and then there is an option of questions i like this particular section it helps me identify faqs that i can add on my targeted web page so like where to buy t-shirts uh, okay we cheapest place to buy the uh, shirts online you will find very interesting suggestions here so i had entered once um, i don't remember the keyword exactly but it said uh, with t-shirt goes on blue jeans and so on so that is something that was quite an uh, insightful keyword i used it on my client's website and they were able to get good traffic for that new keyword okay then there is an option of preposition uh, what i'll do is i'll just change the keyword a bit for you to visualize uh, a lot of new ideas available out there okay now you can see the number of uh, keywords recommendation have increased drastically let's go to questions okay okay yeah what shirts go with cargo pants now you'll see that 480 is the search volume i might uh, include this particular keyword as an faq inside my landing page for the shirts and i'll be able to get organic traffic okay this one was a keyword which search uh, which shirt suits on black jeans nice keyword i got direct benefits of it a uh, lot of interesting options over here which shirt suits on green pants wow and the search volume is also less so what i can do is like i explained i can simply select those particular keywords and uh, add them to the keyword list which i can refer later or share it with my web development or content development team okay uh, now uh, there is a preposition option as well where they use with without for in between uh, different uh, keywords which are appearing so shirts with quotes and so on now this is also a great keyword okay so i can uh, view this set of uh, keywords here then there is a comparison option as well where they use and and verses also would be there see verses and like also over there 
So this is a comparison set of keywords. Now for all these five tabs which are available on top, there is a good option available where I can apply filter. Uh, so I can apply filter. Let's say I want to identify keywords with 1000 to 10,000 with a search difficulty. I can pre-select or I can specifically select 40 to let's say 60. Okay. Okay. So Uber suggest tool will put this keyword. See, I got shirts, Chinese collar, party wear shirts for men. So these are the keywords that fulfill this criteria. I can also select CPC. Uh, cost per click uh, filter also here a good option here is uh, if i want to include let's deselect this option if i want only the keywords which with a search intent let's say i want ones with only the buy term in it let's see what it recommends okay so it, it will basically list down all keywords with have a buy word in between okay so as you can see and i can also exclude keyword like uh, it's not relevant here but something like free or something like that if you're uh, selling some sort of a software or solution uh, you can put that into the exclude keywords list okay now the good thing over here is uh, that uh, you can select the bunch of keywords and also export it to uh, csv uh, you can also add it to their list export to csv if you do then you will be able to see those keywords on excel apply different set of filters and so on and uh, select the keywords which are relevant to you good handy option also they have a uh, interesting uh, and this is also something in beta they have added but i like what they have done so you can enter the domain uh, for which you want to uh, basically your website or your client's website and punch in enter so it will uh, show you set of keywords for which this particular website can rank uh, back to in the page one so since i have selected mahindra there will be a lot of keywords for which they uh, they can rank and i'm pretty sure they are ranking for a bunch of these okay Okay, so again a handy feature. It's in beta, so don't expect very great results here, but a good starting point. Okay, that let's move to the third subsection, keywords by traffic. I like this particular part. So what you can do is uh, let's actually take example. Okay, I typed in buy t-shirts online. This is the Mintra organic link. So you can select, you can enter the URL of your competitor and discover what are the keywords for which that particular competitor is uh, competitor's web page is ranking for so this is a good option to reverse engineer and use the strategy that the competitor is using and identify those keywords so let's say i select a mintra.com slash t-shirts okay it's loading yeah there it is so you are able to see all the keywords for which mintra is ranking so you see cheapest online t-shirt so you might as well consider that for your own business you can even uh, select it put it in csv apply the filters which i explained to you earlier and you will be able to i'm pretty sure discover a lot of interesting keywords here so very good option uh, put forward by uh, the uber suggest team Moving on, there is similar websites option. So again, you can enter your website. Uber suggest tool will crawl your website and identify which website uh, in the specific geography are similar to your website. So, uh, so you can use uh, those website as a, a competitor within the Uber suggest tool and reverse engineer and identify keywords as well. So I typed in mantra, and as it was obvious, it recommended Flipkart, Snapdeal, Agio. Tata click and so on, shopper stop and so on. Okay, so good handy tool to identify similar websites. Moving to content ideas. So for your targeted page, you would be writing a bunch of blogs, interesting content as well. So this particular section uh, gives you an idea. So I would say this too is in the beta stage. Though the results were impressive, occasionally they helped me identify good content pieces along with I built content, which helped me rank very high for uh, the blogs or the targeted uh, service or solution. Okay, so I typed in shirts here. So it gives you an idea, okay, like Zimame has gym t-shirts uh, section available. It gets so many visits. The Facebook shares has been 6,34,000 and so on. Uh, I'm not too impressed with the result, but I would give them benefit of doubt that they are just experimenting and it will soon be perfected over the course of time. 
there is filter option available over here so the intent is very clear and i think it would certainly refine into a very good uh, uh, section in itself wherein i can select the ones which i have received uh, facebook shares of between 100 to 1000 pinterest shares and so on include this keywords and title and so on and the system would give me uh, relevant content pieces okay so i am expecting this section to improvise then there is the keyword list section which i had already explained to you uh, basically a uh, area where you can view all your uh, selected keywords in one go you can download in excel or you can review there itself using different filter options so this was an overview of uh, the keyword research feature uh, within the uber suggest tool uh, there are new updates also that uber suggest releases I will be creating a comprehensive video also around the entire features and benefits of Uber Suggest 2 in a separate video and add it as a link in the description. Time for the million dollar question. How does Uber Suggest tool perform when compared to SEM Rush and Ahref? I would say absolutely amazing. Given the price point at which this tool is available, I would say that it's value for money. I have worked and witnessed the growth of Uber Suggest tool in the last 4-5 years and I would simply say that the journey has been remarkable. Neil Patel and his team has stood on to their word that they are going to work hard to simply uh, significantly improvise the user performance and I can feel that. Yes, Ahrefs and a SEM Rush have many other features. Uh, which are much better than uh, Uber suggests, but I would term broadly term all those features as simply bells and whistles. The core features like keyword research or rank tracking is very well performed on Uber suggest. I have many of my colleagues who have worked on Uber suggest tool and have helped many of their prominent clients rank higher on Google search engine. So if you are just start, uh, starting off and if you are looking to experiment or learn the SEO process, Uber suggest would be my highly recommended tool to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I plan to release a number of interesting content around SEO in coming months. Also, if you are looking for a professional agency to help you with the SEO activity of your website, visit my company's website www.eosis.com or you can even drop us a business inquiry on sales at the rate Thank you everyone for your valuable time. Take care.